Hello everybody, my name is Karim and today we are going to talk about multiple intelligent with Howard Gardner. Howard Gardner believes that there are eight frames of mind. He argues that there are many specific types of intelligence or frame of mind. The first type of intelligence is the verbal intelligence or skills which means the ability to think in words and to use language to express meaning like authors, journalists and speakers. The second type is called mathematical intelligence. It means the ability to carry out mathematical operations like scientists do, engineers, accountants. Students of every ability can learn effectively through interesting software programs that provide immediate feedback and go far beyond drill and practice exercises. The third type of intelligence is spatial intelligence which is the ability to see three-dimensionally like architects, artists, sailors, Virtual reality technology can also provide students with opportunities to exercise their visual spatial skills. Bodily kinesthetic skills, which is the ability to manipulate objects and be physically adapt like surgeons, craft people, dancer and athletes. Number five is musical intelligence a sensitivity to pitch melody rhythm and tone like composer musicians music therapist software is also a musical skill source sex intrapersonal intelligence it is the ability to understand oneself and effectively direct one's life like theologians psychologist. The opportunity for students to make such choices is at the heart of giving them control over their own learning and intellectual development. Number seven, interpersonal intelligence. It is the ability to understand and effectively interact with others like successful teachers, mental health professionals, Positive learning experiences can result as students share discoveries, support each other in solving problems, and work collaboratively on projects. And the last type of intelligence according to Howard Gardner is natural intelligence, which is the ability to observe patterns in nature and understand natural and human-made systems like farmers, ecologists and lay landscaper. Finally, Howard Gardner says that it's not helpful to use one type of intelligences as a background activity while other children are working on an activity related to a different type of intelligence. The idea of multiple intelligence comes out of psychology. It's a theory that was developed to document the fact that human beings have very different kinds of intellectual strengths and that these strengths are very, very important in how kids learn and how people represent things in their minds and then how people use them in order to show what it is that they've understood. If we all had exactly the same kind of mind and there was only one kind of intelligence, then we could teach everybody the same thing in the same way and assess them in the same way, and that would be fair. But once we realize that people have very different kinds of minds, different kinds of strengths, some people are good in thinking spatially, some people are good in thinking language, other people are very logical, other people need to do hands-on, they need to actually explore actively and to try things out. Once we realize that, then a education which treats everybody the same way is actually the most unfair education because it picks out one kind of mind, which I call the law professor mind, somebody who's very linguistic and logical, and says, if you think like that, great. If you don't think like that, there's no room in the train for you.